Hey, I'm Gary. This is Conoco 101. Today we're going to be going over the basics of a diesel engine. All right. So the first thing we're going to look at on the diesel engine, working from the top down, is going to be the valve cover. The valve cover helps keep the valves clean, the valve springs lubricated by not allowing oil to splash out of there. When you remove the valve cover, you can see you've got your valve train underneath the valve cover. The valve train consists of your springs, the valves, which we'll flip the head over and show you the bottom side in a moment, but the valves, a keeper, your spring, and then there's a valve seal and seat down inside the head here. On the left side of the motor here, we actually have the intake manifold, which would normally have your turbo elbow and turbo mounted to it. And that is what provides the air into the motor to provide boom to make the machine work. Now, when we remove the head here, I'll be able to show you guys the valves and working down from there, the pistons. Oh, yeah, snakes usually aren't involved in uh, teardowns of motors, but he's there. <laughs> so under the head here, we've got the valves, which open and close depending on the time in the motor and allow the air fuel mixture to be injected into the cylinder, which contains the piston. The piston then comes up, compresses the gas and air mixture till, it, till it's enough pressure to explode, which then forces the piston back down. The piston is then connected to a connecting rod, which connects to a crankshaft. So inside here, inside the cylinder block itself, you've got a crankshaft, which would be this component here, and it's got journals in it. The journals, which would be this section here, and actually under this cap here, are what contain the, the uh, main bearings and your connecting rod bearings, which are these two, that one, and there's one down there. It's a four cylinder engine, so there's four connecting rods, four pistons. The connecting rod cap here contains the other half of the bearing, which is what allows the engine to rotate freely and to, for the piston to go up and down. Now the connecting rod itself goes down here and connects up to underneath the skirt of the piston. The gear inside here on this specific engine actually goes to a piece right here, an internal balancer. As these gears spin, these shafts inside are balanced and they counter rotate. And this is what internally balances the motor. Some engines do not have a internal balancer. Some engines have a balancer on the outside of the engine that's uh, either called a uh, harmonic balancer or a fluid uh, balancer. There's normally an oil pan attached to the bottom of the engine here, which contains all your oil. This would be your oil pickup tube, which then goes up through the block up to here. This is actually your oil pump. It's a gear driven oil pump off of the outside gear of the crankshaft. And this oil pump has got a set of gears in there that constantly mesh together. And that is what flows oil through the engine and provides lubrication so the engine doesn't seize up. This engine unfortunately did have an issue and it did fail because of a uh, piston that melted, probably due to a lean condition. Thanks for watching. I'm Gary from Conoco 101. See ya.